All right, so here is the cleaned out case. Let me uh, apply some light. Got most of the gunk out of there. There's a magnet. I'm not going to replace the bearings in that because I don't know how to set the depth and lash and all that crap. So there's our center, and I've already removed all the bolts, and they are over there in the ultrasonic cleaner. Hopefully, that thing's not messing up my audio. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's cleaned up pretty good here. Axles over there, miscellaneous bolts. Got a, uh, power track softener here. Doesn't come with too much in it. Just these, uh, pieces on the ends. I think you reuse some of these internal parts on this particular rear end, so we'll see how that goes putting all this together. Okay, I pried the case apart. Take uh, take your two pry bars with a head that's about, I don't know, what is that, half an inch wide? And there's little slots in here. Just take two of them in there, press down on both of them at the same time, and she will come apart. Uh -huh. There's our spider gears. And now, this seems to be much simpler, well, besides having to break this apart, than uh, spider gear setup that was in my um, 10 bolt rear end, where you actually had to kind of play with these little things to work them out. And here everything is fixed in place. Looks like you pretty much just set everything in and it, it only fits back together one way. But uh, all this stuff's gonna get cleaned up now. And then I'm going to figure out what I need to keep, what I need to toss out to put that in there. Be back in a minute. That's so cool. Okay, the directions in the Lockwright manual say to remove these pieces here and to keep the piece, the side gear that was in the top of the carrier separate because it gets installed in the bottom when you uh, put all this stuff back together. So I'm just going to put him over here in there with my cover and then pull all these out. Of course, they're just going to fall everywhere. But there we go. We retain this. We do not reuse any of these or their spacers. So they can uh, all just go wherever to the side. And then here we have in the bottom. And here's the spacer for it. Now the spacers, they said, are very critical to this uh, installation going smooth. You're supposed to check for a certain wear and um, for any cracks. And if any of these are out of 
uh, preferred spec to replace them. So I will have to find a set of calipers to measure this with, I believe. Be back. And as per the directions, I have uh, went ahead and installed the bottom part of this locking assembly. And I thought I would show you. These are the new spacers that I got from uh, Yukon here in Axle. That part number. And uh, they just fit right on top of the side gears underneath the one down in here in this case. But the locker is fairly simple. You put the uh, side gear that used to be on top in the bottom with its washer there. You put a spacer down in there. Then you set your uh, driver piece, this, on top of it like that. And then you insert your pins 180 degrees from each other got two sets of springs a big one and a small one put one inside the other and put them in these holes and now all I have to do is put some grease in these four holes insert the pins and the springs and then flip that over set it on top of this put my side gear on top of that and then put the spacer on top of that put the uh, top back on and bolt it all together and uh, it should be ready to go then. 